are so certain that the Earth is round and not flat? From ancient civilizations to the present day, the shape of our planet has been a topic of intrigue and debate. The idea that the Earth is flat, once widely accepted, has seen a resurgence in contemporary society. Flat Earthers as they are commonly known, propose a variety of arguments to support their belief. They point to the perception of a flat horizon, asserting that if the Earth were truly round, wouldn't our view curve? They question the authenticity of images from space, arguing that there are no genuine pictures of our planet. Moreover, they suggest that Antarctica, rather than being a continent, is an ice wall encircling the Earth. These arguments, while seemingly compelling, raise a myriad of questions. How do they align with our understanding of the world? What does this mean for our interpretation of the Earth's shape? But most importantly, how does science respond to these seemingly compelling arguments? Science has a knack for debunking myths, and this is no exception. When it comes to the Earth's shape, the scientific community has a few compelling arguments up its sleeve. First off, let's talk about the Earth as an oblate spheroid. This fancy term describes a sphere that's slightly squashed at its poles and slightly bulging at the equator, which is precisely what our planet is like due to its rotation. Now, on to space. The photographs captured from there provide undeniable proof of a spherical Earth. Those who argue that these images are fake or manipulated often overlook the rigorous processes and checks that go into space research. Besides, if all space agencies worldwide were in on a grand conspiracy, it would be the best kept secret in history, don't you think? Moving on, let's discuss the horizon. The way we perceive it is fundamentally linked to the Earth's curvature. If the Earth were flat, we'd be able to see infinitely far, only limited by the size of the objects in our view. But in reality, our view is always obstructed by the Earth's curvature after a certain distance. This is why ships disappear bottom first when sailing away from us. They're not falling off the edge, they're simply moving beyond our line of sight due to the Earth's curve. The flat appearance of large bodies of water is also a commonly cited argument, yet, this is a result of our limited perspective. Remember, the Earth is a gigantic sphere with a diameter of about 8,000 miles. Compared to this, our field of view at ground level is minuscule, making the Earth seem flat to us. So, the scientific consensus strongly supports the Earth being an oblate spheroid. But what about the Bible? Some flat earthers argue that the Bible supports their belief, but is that really the case? Let's dive into the world of biblical interpretations. It's true that some flat earth proponents use the Bible to back their claims, drawing on certain verses that, when taken literally, might suggest a flat earth. However, it's important to note that this view is not widely accepted among theologians and scholars. Many theologians argue that the Bible uses phenomenological language, language that describes the way things appear from our human perspective. For example, when we say, the sun rises, we don't mean that the sun is literally moving around the earth. It's simply a way of describing our perception of the world. In the same way, references in the Bible to the four corners of the earth, or the earth being established that it cannot be moved, are seen by most scholars as poetic or symbolic language, not as a literal description of the earth's shape. It's also worth noting that the Bible was written in a time when the scientific understanding of the world was vastly different from what we know today. These biblical interpretations, used by flat earthers, are often based on misconceptions and misunderstandings. They selectively interpret certain verses while ignoring others that don't fit their narrative. They also fail to take into account the cultural and historical context in which the Bible was written. So, let's wrap this up. The Bible, like any ancient text, can be interpreted in many ways. But most scholars agree that it does not support the idea of a flat Earth. And what about the scientific consensus? Well, from the ancient Greeks to the astronauts of today, the evidence overwhelmingly supports the view that Earth is an oblate spheroid, not perfectly round but a slightly squashed sphere. So, while the idea of a flat Earth might seem appealing to some, the overwhelming weight of evidence tells us that our home is an oblate spheroid. A beautiful spinning sphere hurtling through space.